Is around it. And so she held me until sleep came. When I awoke, she was gone. She had left our home so that I could stay. I was all alone, and despite how poor we were, I managed to make it to adulthood. Day after day, I plucked at the loot, my sister always in my thoughts. And to my surprise, I actually became quite good at it. During my travels, my sister and I were reunited. She served as an attendant to the royal family of Ku, and lived in the castle town. I know her name. It was Suki, wasn't it? Just so, Lord Hikari. Was. But Suki is no longer with us. She was taken by the very clan she served. I know it is ridiculous to bear a grudge against you, Lord Hikari. But what else is there for me to do? No matter how often I sing of her, my pain does not subside. Lord Hikari, would the sight of your blood wash my suffering away? It's as you said, Clan Ku took everything from you. And I will bear that burden, Lady Yomi. If there is anything I can do to ease your pain, then I will do it. If I must. On your guard. Here I come. My blade sinks. Prepare yourself. Allow me. My turn. How do you fight the strike? Now it becomes... Uh, I fight for my friends! Shinji Wonjikiri! Predictable. My turn. Allow me. Prepare yourself. How... My turn. Now it becomes I'll end this. I summon Brand. I still have much to learn. Lady Yomi. Lord Hikari. You are strong.
and your heart is kind. I have no doubt that my sister was happy to serve your family. <sighs> Itsuki, forgive me. I couldn't do anything for you in return. She would be happy to see that you still live. Yomi, why don't we pray for your sister's happiness together? Together? There will be a ritual to honor the departed, to mourn their passing. Will you lend us your loot to send off your sister and the countless others? Lord Hikari. Partner, whole place is wild as an unbroken horse. A 
raw energy is incomparable to anything I felt in prison. And the air, it's so fresh. <laughs> Smells like a deal to me. I bet you can't help but trip over opportunity in a town like this. Well, he certainly tripped over something. Uh, hey, what's the matter, fella? I am a scholar. But I am soon to starve and become a useless lump of meat. Well, we can't have that now, can we? Here, have a bite of this bread. Oh. My savior! Hmm. Ah, you have saved me. Yes, thanks to you, I can continue my scholarly pursuits. Good gracious. This is my first meal in three days, nine hours, and 23 minutes. <laughs> now hang on. You telling me you were counting minutes even as you were dying of hunger? It is in a scholar's nature to keep records, no matter how dire the situation. Isn't that right, Regulus? Oswald? It is you, isn't it? Oswald! Huh? You two know each other? <laughs> we were friends in our academy days. <laughs> it has been quite some time. We frequently bring the fruits of our research to bear in our spirited discussions. So then, what brought you here? <laughs> Procuring research materials, old fellow. For a, hold your applause, a earth-shattering invention. Oh, sounds nice. What is it? Most curious. Shall we talk it over? No. Oh, how this takes me back, Oswald. Let us do so over drinks. If we're in agreement, well, I shall go right on ahead. To the stars, to which we mere mortals turn our gaze and use to delineate our dreams. 